Hello there, people of the internet. How's everybody doing today? It's hot out here. I reckon I'm doing all right, though. Thanks for asking. So I'm out here with my Turkish Mauser. This is an 1893 pattern, and I haven't set lead downrange with this thing in a little while. I think I figured to myself, you know what? Why not? I'm in the mood to clean a rifle anyway, so whenever I settle in tonight, I'll probably just grab this rifle and do some scrubbing on it because the ammunition that we're going to fire today is Turkish ammo out of this Turkish Mauser, and this stuff is corrosive. So, why am I making this video? Well, whenever I was out here, well, oh, I don't know, a month ago, maybe a month and a half, um, I was actually texting somebody and we were talking about what their capabilities were because they wanted to come out to the gun range and they're like, yeah, I can't really shoot at very long distances because I don't have a whole lot of experience. And I'm like, that's fine. We got like a 40 yard mark. We send lead down range. It'll be no problem at all. We'll have ourselves a really good time. And, uh, well, whenever I was talking to this guy, we were kind of going back and forth, and I just so happened to have my Turkish mouths ring. I was like, hey, with this right here, I'm willing to bet with just, you know, how the sight's are, how your vision is, and how this right here is an accurate two-stage trigger, especially if we use something that's a little bit more accurate than the Turkish Mauser ammo. I said, I'm willing to bet that uh, we could go ahead and get you shooting fairly accurately out to about 100 yards, which is the limitation of my range right here. And so he was like, okay, sure, I'll give it a try. And so we did, and within like, I don't know, 45 minutes or so, I had him hitting a pie plate at 100 yards. And so that is dramatically more accurate than, uh, than what he was doing before. And he was doing that with this Mauser right here. And so breaking out this Mauser reminded me of that, so I figured I'd go ahead and I'd tell the story. Fast forward like two or three weeks or so, and we were down at the gun store, and we were talking to like... I can't remember his name, in all honesty. I simply can't. But uh, we were talking to somebody who shoots long range professionally, like at competitions and whatnot. Like he really, really knows his stuff. Like customized hand load ammunition, like 6.5, 6.8, the real uh, high end custom load stuff. And he says he shoots out to like a thousand plus yards and he does it very easily with his custom made rifle. And it, he, he was just a really awesome guy to be around. But he asked my buddy, whenever they were talking, I have no idea how it actually came up in conversation, he asked him, hey, what kind of long-range training do you have? And my buddy was kind of ashamed whenever he said, I have unofficial training. And there's been a few times where I've had people tell me, hey, I have unofficial training with this, that, or the other thing. It doesn't even have to be gun-related. They're like, my training is unofficial. So I don't necessarily know anything at all. I may as well have not trained at all. And a lot of times whenever I meet people who have this unofficial training, they're actually fairly good and fairly competent at the things that they are doing. So I'm going to go ahead and make this video telling you, hey, if your video or if your training is at an unofficial level, then does it matter? You don't need a certification, a legitimate, you, you don't need legitimate certifications to prove that you have the skills to be able to do something. In fact, many, many times uh, you can acquire incredibly good skills just by receiving information and applying that information to your training regimen, which would be considered unofficial training. There are some people out there who are able to achieve some absolutely amazing things, not because they go out and actively seek training from somebody else who, uh, who knows what they're doing. I don't want to sound like that is a bad thing because you should absolutely go out and gather as much information as you can, especially from those who know what they're doing. But don't be ashamed if your unofficial training is you just trying to figure things out. Like for example, my marksmanship is absolutely unofficial training. I've just been shooting at targets downrange for a bunch of years and over time I've just learned how to hold my rifles and how to steady my trigger finger and where to hold the trigger at and how to properly hold the right like nobody's ever showed me that stuff uh it wasn't until many many years later where i got actual legitimate training and a lot of what i figured out with my unofficial training greatly helped with my official training my literal certification training that i've received so don't feel bad don't be ashamed about getting unofficial training um, because your unofficial training is dramatically better than people who do not train at all. So going out and getting yourself actual legitimate training, I will always advocate for that. But don't go out thinking that you shouldn't 
get unofficial training or train with yourself or hone your own skills on your own trying to figure things out just because you would be embarrassed with announcing that your training is in fact unofficial. Like, I know that I am certified with several things whenever it comes to firearms, but I have several other training regimens that I consider to be unofficial simply because I am out figuring them out on my own. And a lot of them have to do with uh, uh, fighting skills, uh, bushcraft, uh, survival skills, all sorts of different things that I just kind of get the general idea of and then I go out and I train on my own and I figure out what my body is capable of and how to actively train it to be able to get better. And that's not something that you can learn through official training. That's something that you have to figure out on your own through your unofficial training. Now, like I said, of course, you can go out and learn some very valuable skills from people who have those skills and that knowledge and who can give you official training. That's not the point of this video. I'm not telling you not to do that. I'm telling you don't be ashamed of your unofficial training. For example, this right here is some unofficial training, I guess. Uh, yeah, I guess I wouldn't really call it marksmanship training, more like shooting fundamental training. I think it's absolutely unofficial. I'm out here on my gun range. I got a GoPro strapped to a tree right here. And I'm just gonna shoot at this piece of steel that's 40 yards down the way. And boy, that steel has seen better days. But this right here is absolutely unofficial training. However, doing this over the years, many, many, many times, especially if I back off to like 100 yards or so, um, I've gotten dramatically better at my fundamentals of shooting. As a matter of fact, back whenever I first started this channel, I didn't even really know how to hold a rifle. I just kind of held it the same way that I saw them hold it in video games. And that was, uh, that was the extent of my training. And over the years, over time, I just kind of learned and developed. And of course, I got a bunch of tips and tricks and whatnot from people on the internet. And they tell me to do all sorts of different things whenever I'm shooting these rifles. And it doesn't even have to be these rifles. It could be any rifle. Insert your choice. But they give me all sorts of tips and tricks and insights and whatnot. And that right there would also count as unofficial training. That's just YouTube commenters. But the knowledge is still being acquired. And so as a result, uh, j just because I'm not being officially certified or officially trained, I would still consider it to be absolutely invaluable pieces of information that have legitimately shaped my capabilities as a shooter and as a content creator. All right, I got one more round here. Let's send it down range. I wanted to come out and shoot my long Turkish Mauser because the concussive blast on my uh, shorter Car 98 length Mauser is just, they're a little bit too much, especially for right now. I'm all relaxed and comfortable and trying to, uh, trying to not home the day away with rattling my teeth in my skull. This is just my two cents on the subject. Of course, there's going to be people out there that disagree with me, and I'm going to get some hate in the comments. I'm fully expecting that on this video about people telling me, hey, if it's not legitimate training with a legitimate expert, then it's not training at all. And I'm willing to bet that there's probably quite a few people down there who would probably disagree with that as well. Like, for example, let's just dumb this down to something really rudimentary, cardio training. Yes, you can go out and get yourself some really good insight with cardio training and get some really good expert help to be able to uh, really get, really maximize your skills with cardio training. However, you can do quite a bit on your own by going out and going for a run or doing burpees or leg lifts or whatever it is that you're going to do for cardio training. You can go out and do some pretty amazing stuff on your own with your unofficial training. A good amount of what I do is uh, unofficial training because I just kind of do things on my own. Like, for example, with me trying to stay fit, I go for ruck marches and I organize equipment and I uh, looked up how to use a tourniquet and I actually trained myself how to effectively use a tourniquet. I'm sure that there's some stuff that uh, an expert would be able to really teach me on it, but I got the gist of it enough to be able to save someone's life just from my quote unquote unofficial training. Of course, I'm still going to tell you if you want official training, go for it. I cannot emphasize that enough, but I also cannot emphasize that you should not feel bad about not going out to see expert help.
help, at least not yet. Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully this uh, helped turn some screws in some heads and hopefully it uh, helped negate a lack of self-esteem that some people have whenever it comes to their unofficial training. I know a lot of people will train unofficially and they'll like try to do it silently away from people and just avoid anyone seeing their lack of skills in a subject because they don't want to be judged on it. And I don't necessarily think that's the best idea because I don't think that you should judge someone based off their skill set. You should judge them on the fact that they're trying to get better, which is a positive judgment as far as I'm concerned. But by all means, you go ahead and you do you whatever it is that you're doing to increase your skills and capabilities, whether or not it is official or unofficial, that automatically puts you on top of a dramatic amount of people that are currently living here inside of our society. Anyway, I'm rambling at this point. Thanks for watching, folks. I do appreciate your time. Like, subscribe, share. Description below has a link to all sorts of stuff. Go check it out. You guys go off and have yourself a fantastic day. I got sweat in my eyes and I'm thirsty. I'm probably going to go grab a beer and relax for a while. I'll see you all on the next episode. I've done this. Body and Clyde be damned. <laughs> the poor man's Garrett. <laughs> Shame that bolt-action shotguns aren't uh, more mainstream.